So here we have a tab with a spot to record that timestamp. And so let's go ahead and open up our app script and see what this will take. So I'm going to go ahead and call this project timestamp. And then what we can start here is an on open function. The only issue we're going to have here is that on open, uh, normally it runs automatically when you open Google Sheets. However, since we need to access the Google Sheet, that's considered a restricted scope item. And so that means for it to run successfully, whoever's opened the Google Sheet would have, have to authorize the script. And so if you only want this to work for people who have authorized the script, then you can stick with an on open. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is a workaround using a install trigger. And so that will show you how to do that here in a second. Um, but basically we're gonna do the same thing. If you want to use this maybe on your own and you don't need anyone else using it, you can use an on open and it'll work without doing the trigger. Otherwise you can go ahead and use the function as it is. So we're gonna go ahead and access our spreadsheet. We're gonna get our settings tab. Now let's get our timestamp. I'm going to wrap it in a utilities format date, make a new date, and then I'm going to get the spreadsheet time zone here. And then the format, they have examples here. I'm just going to use a simple one, month, date, year, and then lowercase h for 12 hours, minutes, and a for a.m. p.m. And now we just need to record this. Settings got range, and then let me check where it sells this is, C4, set value, and timestamp. So this will record the timestamp on the settings tab. So this is all good to go. The only two things we need to do now is add the trigger and authorize the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run the timestamp here function and then authorize the script. Uh, actually, before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to add a quick restriction here to make that flow a little faster. So forward slash asterisk, and then at only current doc, and then close that out. So what this is gonna do is gonna make this authorization flow a little faster and simpler. If you've ever done this before, normally once you click on there, this turns into that warning with Google. Um, in this case, it just gives me allow. So makes it faster and simpler to do that. We're all good to go. It should have already run and added a timestamp here. Let's go back here. And now we just need to make this function when we open the spreadsheet. So we're gonna add a trigger. And then what we need to do is on open, just like it is, click save. And there's our trigger now. So now this will work for anyone who opens the spreadsheet, whether or not they've authorized the script. So let's go ahead and refresh. We have this cleared out, so we'll be able to tell when it runs again, and we're good to go. So it'll take a couple seconds after the spreadsheet opens before the script runs. And so there we go. Their timestamp got added automatically, and that's all that it takes. All right, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on Google Sheets and AppScript.